Oh, search here for the backyard driver range. I have a question that came into customer service. And it says, I am interested in the end low grips, but wondering why Don and DJ don't use them if they are as good as Don says. Looking forward to a reply. This message comes from Chester Marshall. Uh, came into customer service. Okay, Chester. Uh, I do use them. Uh, and DJ does, but at the moment we only use them on our putters. And as you can see here uh, on my bag, I have I have six of them uh, with putters that I have put grips on them. I have, uh, shall we say, two black over here. I have one one with white grip, and I also have two with with uh, two orange ones and a green one. And these are some of my, uh, the ones I use the most for putting in uh, terms of practicing and things of that sort. And, and uh, right now, these three are pretty much actively in my bag in and out all the time. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm always fooling around with putters. And DJ has some orange ones. they got a brighter orange in this. He has that one on, on uh, one of his putters. And he, in fact, he's had it in play in, in uh, two or three tournaments. I have one on the driver here. And... Uh, I haven't put this one in play, and, and I, my, the point that, that you asked might seem to be a good one in that, in that it says, why am I using them? Well, my, I think one of my, the positions that I put myself and a lot of my teachers into is that, is that we're always looking to find training aids, equipment, uh, any new technologies that can help us out to become better golfers, whether it be to help us get uh, better fitted golf clubs, get better clubs in our bag, improve our swing, improve our practice in terms of, of uh, training aids and things of that sort. And so I feel that, that part, of my, part of my job here on SwingSurgeon.com is to not only teach the peak performance golf swing, but to keep you abreast on, 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 on technologies that have come out and improvements in anything. And, and because many people out there in the world who come to our website know that I'm always on a, I'm looking for advanced cutting edge things and uh, not only in, in, uh, in equipment, in t uh, but in terms of uh, health and nutrition and things. And they're, they're constantly bringing products to me. I take them to my experts, we look at them. In terms of the grips, I had DJ try them. He likes them. He probably, he probably is very, uh, uh, is considered probably is putting them in play. Myself? I've shown it to a number of my teachers. They all have no problems with it. I've been, put, I've been putting with one, and I love it because of the bigger right hand. Uh, fits in the hand better. And, and as far as, as people with, with strength issues or arthritis, these grips are phenomenal. And I love the reverse, I love the reverse uh, uh, tapering of it, where it's skinnier at the top and fatter at the bottom. Now, I don't have any issues overall in my in my fingers other than the fact that I got I got some arthritis problems I have no no cartilage in, in my left thumb here but as far as the rest of my fingers goes I have no strength issues other than I wish I was stronger but I don't have any as far as gripping a club with good good solid firm grip pressure that I I prefer that I that I believe we should use and and that's equal grip pressure with the finger squeezing up I I like I like the grip I just think that and I love the fact that it's 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 soft, it's tacky, but yet it's not spongy soft. Because again, I feel like one of the big things about a grip is, is if I don't want my shaft to torque when I hit a golf ball, I certainly don't want my grip to torque. And, the, and these grips, even though they, they have this softness to them, it's not, it's not this spongy soft. Now again, if, you, if somebody has really, really bad uh, arthritis problems and, and their club speed isn't that bad, maybe a grip with a, that's a little spongy and might have some, a little bit of twist value in it is not going to hurt them that bad. But somebody with, with a little bit more club head speed, even in a ball solid, if your grip is giving, that's just the same thing, in my opinion, as the shaft giving. So I like these grips because that, that added weight really gives a counterbalance to the head and, 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 gives, and still gives you a good feel, and, and especially on the putter. And I've already, I've already mentioned to the folks at Enlo that, that I love this grip, but I really think for, the, for, for me, and I'm sure uh, if I play with them long enough, I, I'd probably get used to it as it is. But I said I'd love it if they would make like a, a midsize that's a little bit not quite as thick as this one for the, for the, for the whole set. And I, I think I'd definitely play with that. And, and so, uh, but these uh, just, they're nice. I'd love it on the putter, but again, 
I think one of our positions here at SwingSurgeon.com is to bring these things to you. But in some cases, I can't, uh, I can't necessarily put everything in my bag or, or, or that, that, that I, I come across because of uh, the fact that, that it might be good, but for somebody, just as not all of you are going to use it either. And so I'm just bringing it up because I believe it's a good product and, and it's, and it, and it's going to have it has some great assets for people who need certain issues. Again, like folks with strength or arthritic problems in their hands and, and their forearms uh, to be able to have a much more constant grip. And these are, these are great. It's always been known that arthritic folks, uh, people with arthritis, are, are much better off using these, these bigger and arthritic grips, uh, what they call sometimes actually called arthritic grips. So, again, I'm always on the lookout for things. I got my teachers on the lookout. People bring things to me when they hear about me, talking about certain things, especially in terms of science and in terms of diet and nutrition. Uh, I've had somebody recently come to me with an with a all-organic uh, 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 sunscreen because I've talked about sunscreen and how important it is to, uh, to uh, put on sunscreen to protect our skin as well as wearing sunglasses to play. Optometrists talk about that all the time. And, and the fact about no, uh, we, we, it's not best to play with bifocals you, because bifocals put our head into a bad position. And so uh, when, I, when I take in a whole comp the, the whole realm of, of all the physical things in terms of our body, our minds, and, and, and diet, nutrition to keep our body healthy and, and, and more productive and, 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 and training in terms of strength and suppleness and flexibility. Uh, I'm always getting these things and I'm bringing them to you. Like, I don't do every drill I've ever talked about with all of you, but I do my share. I've probably done them in the past and I'll, I'll do more in the future, but it doesn't mean I do them all. It's just, we're bringing you the good information for you to pick and choose what you feel you like and will work for you. And the same thing goes for me. So, uh, I like uh, the question makes sense, but in the end, it, it's I want you all to understand that that just because I or DJ doesn't use it or, or Dave Seaman or Greg McDonald or some of the other teaching pros doesn't mean we don't like it. Doesn't mean it isn't any good. It's just that if we brought it up to you, we discussed it, we like it, and, and it fits physics, physiology, and we think it's good. So the only thing left for you is if you if you. If it makes sense to you, give it a try and see if you like it. And so far, the Enlo grips have been doing great. And, uh, and for, uh, for people that we've had some great sales in the first few days it's been out. But again, I'll just say to all of you, huh, don't hesitate to put it on a putter. Because I, really I really think they're great on the putter. And it uh, gives you that nice, soft, and yet firm and controlled grip on, on whatever putter you want to have it on. And as you can see, I got them on, I got them on my sheer of putters. And, and so... Uh, these grips really work great, and, and I think they'll, they'll fit you for the whole set of clubs. So we're here to help you play better golf. Whatever realm we can bring you information and products, we're going to keep continuing to do so so that you know that, that we've studied it, we've looked at it. I really think it's good. I've taken it to some of my experts when it involves, when it involves sort of things in fitness and health, and, and, and even in golf clubs. I, I'll, I'll go to the doc, and I'll talk to him about him, and, and Doc Griffin's actually putting with one. And uh, so I, I just say that... Uh, I think you can not only count us for good stuff on a golf swing, peak performance golf swing, but you can count on us to, to be a reliable source for any questions you have. And if you find something we haven't brought up, send it in and we'll check it out. Because if it's good, we're going, we'd are going we like to test it, check it out. And if it is, we'll recommend it. Okay? So uh, keep, a, keep an eye on us. We'll be bringing up things in the future. And because we're here to help you play golf in, 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 in many cases with things that are diet, nutrition, and everything else to help you live a much more healthy and productive life because you got to be healthy and uh, you want to stay healthy, especially into retirement. Like uh, once you get over 60 years old, golf's a game of a lifetime. Well, let's make your life a long time and so that you can be joined bluff like many of the guys we see on our site and people who are playing golf in their, in their 70s, 80s, and even 90s. We've got, we got people writing in, uh, Sir Jack's writing in and asking questions. And how good does it get? To, it doesn't get any better than that to be 90 years old, still playing golf, and enjoying life. All right, so that's it for the search for today on our help, our, our, overall pro, uh, commitment to helping you play golf all around as well as living better lives by bringing you newest technology, equipment, tools, and whatever that's going to make things better for you in your golf game and in life. That's it for today and I'll be talking to you all again soon.